This is a prototype Ghost 12 in a one cubic foot sealed enclosure. And in this video, we're going to check the frequency response in enclosure in a wide open area that is the build room. And we're gonna check this in a sealed and ported enclosure. And then uh, you can comment about how everything about this test is wrong in the comments below. And uh, this is requested by our viewers. Uh, so file your grievance with them, I guess. Uh, after we do sealed and ported on this bench using our RTA mic, uh, we will do further videos with the 10 and 12 in a car, both sealed and ported. And we're gonna do it in a couple different cars so you can see real in car response. But on a bench was requested, so here you get it. And now I'm gonna drag you over to the computer screen itself so you can see what's going on. Now we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the 10 inch. However, this time it's gonna look just a little bit different. Uh, before I didn't have any averaging that was happening. Uh, this time we are going to have averaging. So that means all of the weird little peaks that were happening, it's gonna smooth those out so it's a little bit easier to read or like you'd normally see on a frequency response graph. So you can see, uh, here is the line, and that's 105, is that mark. Let's see if we can. So that's the 105 mark. That is 106. So we have one dB variance down there. And then when we're just below it, uh, it's still 105, 104.7. So 102 is uh, right at 22 hertz is going to be our F3 in that. So before it starts to fall off at all, um, right at that 105, we're at 25 hertz. So this in a one foot sealed enclosure without any cabin gain, down into the 20s, flat. This thing is flat from one, it's within 1 dB, we'll say, from 24 all the way up to where I shut it off at 100. So 24 to 100, 1 dB, plus or minus, uh, which is going to be inaudible. So that's what we got in a sealed enclosure. I'll swap this out to ported and see what result we get. And this is the ported box. It is 1.75 cubic feet before sub-displacement. It is tuned to 34 hertz. It has a four inch port. And it's located on this side right over here. I know what you're thinking. The excuse is already coming. The mic is closer to the sub and blah, blah, blah. And the port's way over here. And again, this is just on a bench in a big old room, not how you're listening to it anyway. Not a huge deal, but we're gonna see how this thing responds uh, in this particular application on the RTA.
Okay, so this I'm positive is mechanical noise from being three quarters of an inch from the cone. This seems more realistic where uh, it's starting to fall off there. And that is uh, 30 hertz is where that low point is at 104, whereas up here, we're like 106. So a 2 dB loss, which isn't that bad, down at 30 when it's tuned to 34. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to run it back again. Uh, but this time, I'm going to actually hold the mic uh, with my hand further back. See if we can get something a little bit different or possibly eliminate some of that mechanical noise. That is a much better representation of what we've got. I had that back about a foot and a half, two feet. And you can see right here where it fell down was 31 hertz. So 30, 31 is down there at the bottom. And the minus three, this is uh, 105. So we go down to 102 and that's about 35, 36 hertz. So the tuning might actually be just a little bit off. Um, but we'll see what it does in car. It may be perfectly fine. But as long as it's within uh, tuning and reasonable, you see it's, again, pretty flat. Uh, so we'll check these again in car. See what kind of result we get. Make sure you're subscribed so you see the results in car for the 10 inch and the 12 inch. And I may have a playlist for these as well at some point. Once we complete all the testing on these and show the results, I'll open up pre-order on emfcaraudio.com. And these are the Ghost 10 and 12 rated around 500 watts RMS. We haven't finalized that yet. And they'll be sold in dual four only, as a pair only, and under $200 for the pair.